you see, I've got the reference for the lion. I had to change the tail quite a bit. And little bits of changes here. I'll tell you, the reference I was using, it was lovely. It was nice photographic reference with a lot of the details and information I need. But it didn't have any ears. Somehow, the ears had disappeared. It looked right, but this was all, the light was so intense that that ear had disappeared completely. And for some reason, this ear had disappeared as well because the, the fur, the mane on this line was so pronounced and so strong that you couldn't see the ears. So I painted all this in and it looked great. And I stood back one day and I thought, well, it's got no ears. Somebody's bound to say, well, where's its ears? So I had to go back and change what I'd done and play with it and put ears in there, you know. And so that's one of the things that I had to change. And that was the, probably the most challenging part of it to give a line ears that hadn't got any ears sort of thing. But the other thing is then, I'm putting it into a background which I'm sort of designing myself. So then you've got perspective issues. The light on this picture, where's the light coming from? It's coming from over here somewhere. Shafts of light, the sun's rising or the sun's setting and it's coming through quite a narrow alleyway or whatever. And then it shines onto the ground and illuminates the lion. And then this shaft of light here is probably the one that appears this side again with another one, which because of the way the light is shining down, it doesn't appear on the ground until you get to this, this bit of it.